Hello everyone, welcome to the Hampton Law Firm. I wanted to take a couple of minutes here to just go over with you real quick a subject about how to get off a deferred adjudication probation early. Now I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great criminal defense content related to Texas law. All right, now in this video I'm going to explain to you the ins and outs of how to get off of a deferred adjudication probation early. Also, if you stay till the very end of the video, I'll give you access to a free ebook, What to Do If You've Been Charged With a Crime in Texas. Let's jump right in. Now, is it possible to get off of a deferred adjudication early in Texas? If so, how do you do it? Now, most criminal charges in Texas will allow you to get off of a deferred adjudication probation early, but only if you make certain certain requirements are met. You need to make sure these conditions are met before you're able to apply for it. Number one, you must complete all community service hours. Number two, you must have finished all of your classes successfully. Number three, be up to date on your probation fees and fines. Number four, you need to have been successfully reporting to your probation officer. And then number five, you need to hire an attorney to file a motion for early termination of your probation. Now, quick tip, before you spend the money to hire an attorney to go file to get off of your deferred adjudication probation early, you need to talk to your current probation officer. The reason why I say that, make sure that they will recommend that you're eligible or that they would recommend you for an early release. Because here's what's gonna happen. The first thing that will happen as soon as your attorney files that motion for early release is that the file is gonna be sent over to your probation officer asking them if they recommend you for an early release. It's extremely important that you make sure that you talk to your probation officer about that ahead of time so that you know if you're a good candidate for that early release. If not, you could be fighting an uphill battle. Now beware, I want to also bring this to your attention. It's very important to understand not all offenses qualify for an early release from deferred adjudication probation. Many sexual-based offenses, some DWIs, domestic violence cases, and other violence-related offenses against victims may not be eligible for an early release. Now, how long do you have to wait? What's the waiting period? Well, in Texas, the earliest you can get off of your probation is if you've completed a third of your probation. So legally, you can file for the early release as soon as a third of the way through your probation. Now, I'm gonna tell you, some of the judges in Tarrant County, Texas, they prefer you to complete at least half of your probation before you apply for the early release. So you need to make sure and speak to your lawyer about the specifics and the strategy on your case of when to file. Now, what if you don't have your court paperwork? What if you don't know for sure exactly when you started your probation or how far into your probation you are? If that's the case, I encourage you to give us a call at the Hampton Law Firm, 817-877-5200. We'll be happy to look up your case and see if you're qualified to file for your early release. Now, I promised you if you stuck around to the end of this video, I'd give you access to a free ebook, What to Do If You've Been Charged With a Crime in Texas. I want to encourage you to click the link below right here. Click the link below and I'll be happy if you fill out the form to send it to your email address, send it over to you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content on the way. Hope you have a great rest of your day.